you have just mentioned about secret tricks. I've heard that you self-taught yourself guitar, yes. playing guitars, but you play metal style, and it's just so fast. How how is that possible? Uh, is there any secret tricks that you you got you you can teach uh, other it's a, guitar? Oh, well, it's, a, well, it's a it's a very boring trick, and it's just to practice that that right hand. I mean, I'm not necessarily a fast shredder, you know, but um, I mean, I'm fairly fast rhythm guitar player. And uh, it's all about just sitting and getting a m muscle memory, I would say. I, something I do give like a tip to kids because kids and people today do not have any, the attention to sit and, and practice for 10 hours a day. But they do check their phones, they watch <laughs> TV. So what I do say is like, put down your phone for a while. If you watch TV, just watch TV and so even when they are watching your YouTube video, you would prefer them to practice guitars at the same time? Of course. I mean, that's how you get better. I mean, it's, there's not sh there's, there are no shortcuts. Even if I say that, given tips, I mean, practice is what makes you better, basically. So as an extension for that, how would you suggest to other guitarists to, like, how, how do I know what I want? How do I pick the best guitar for myself from your series? It's hard to say. I mean, the, the, the series is not necessarily very metal. Uh, the bridge pickup is an onico pickup. So they're very dynamic, really good for cleans and splitting, lead guitar playing. But still, if you chug on the strings, you get a really good metal tone going. So uh, the pickups I'm very happy about. But other, other than that, just go for whatever you feel looks good. If the Evertune is for you, if you want to try it out, don't be afraid. If you want the V version to look totally badass on stage, get the V. It's not. It's pretty simple. So I would like to ask. Uh, so of course you're a metal player. Is there any other guitar style that you enjoy? Of course. I mean, I like finger style um, players. Uh, I mean, uh, whatever inspires me. Basically, every, every guitar player in a way kind of inspires me in different styles and. I don't listen that much to music, to be honest, because I don't really have the time. Oh. But if I do, and when I do, I listen to metal, because I like metal. So I would like to also ask you, uh, like how, well, what you said about your solo guitar, and uh, your amp here, mm -hmm. so it's called Satan. Yes. It doesn't get more metal than that, right? No. So <laughs> how would There's you no introduce this that. amp of yours? So <laughs> yeah, uh, actually before I went with Washburn, I signed up with Randall one year ahead. How this came about, it's actually kind of a uh, weird circumstance, <laughs> I would say. No, but uh, the thing was that uh, Mike Fortin, who designed this amp, he and I were friends before he joined Randall. And uh, I wanted to buy one of his amplifiers, and he built one for me. Uh, Specifically? Yeah. yeah, and I wanted to, it was called a Fortin, uh, he had a series called Fortin Natos, and I wanted that amp, but I said like, okay, but I wanted to be called the Fortin Satan, right? So he built me an amp. Randall came along and hired Mike Fortin as an amp designer for the new Randall series. And they wanted to make the Satan a signature amplifier. So I kind of went in on a, uh, yeah, by, by mistake, not mistake maybe, but I mean, here we have a Randall Satan today, which I'm very proud of. Yes, it's a bit confusing to me because you have your own signature amp mm -hmm. that's named the Satan, but you personally look so much like Jesus. Yep. Yes. Well, <laughs> I like contrasts. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. And that people not being sure. So, other than, of course, uh, guitar and photography, is there any other hobbies you enjoy? Video, Video games. Ah. Luca Cola. Yes, that's right. What I just discovered is that I, I do it a lot now when I'm traveling, because that's the only time I have time to play video games. Uh, but other, other than that, I just, it's music, video games, and my spending time with my family, basically. That's what I have time for. So uh, when I'm at home, there's a lot of um, family time, not that much video games. But when I'm on a workshop tours like this, flying all over the place, I sit down and play some video games. Like fl flying over here today, uh, yesterday from uh, Chengdu. Yeah, I sit there on a plane, playing my games. What was it? I played Ori and the uh, oh, Ori and the Shadow Forest. Yes, exactly. Ori and the Shadow Forest.